Hi, this is David from MASH IT. We've just received our 2020 iMac with a AMD 5700 GPU. We're now running some uh, benchmarks pretty much to match uh, Max Tech's benchmarks from his YouTube channel so that people can see the difference between the 5700 XT to this 5700 graphics card. These benchmarks will be run on a fresh bootcamp installation with the standard Apple bootcamp drivers. So all the results that you'll see here are pure stock, but we will be doing another video shortly with uh, updated drivers and hopefully tweaking the system a bit to get a bit more performance out of the machine. So TimeSpy's graphics score of 6,200. It's not a bad score, about 10% lower than MaxTech's 5700 XT and about on par with a laptop's 2060 graphics card. So not amazing, but uh, not bad for an Apple Mac. One thing to note throughout all these benchmarks is how quiet the Mac remains. Um, through most of it is actually silent and it picks up usually towards the end of the test the fans start kicking in but not full pelt so very comfortable um, listening to it whilst actually uh, running these benchmarks. So here we can see a fire strike graphic score of 18,456 so that's pretty good for this 5700 graphics card and about on par with an RTX 2070 uh, Max-Q graphics from a laptop. Uh, I'm guessing that they've obviously reduced the sort of the thermal budget or the the power consumption on these cards to fit in with the iMac, but still, that you can certainly game on this. It's not a bad score. So whilst running Unigen Heaven with this benchmark, I'm also running MSI Afterburner with the screen overlay. Now on this you can see that the graphics card has got a wattage of between 90 and 100 watts. So this is why it's not as powerful as the desktop 5700. Um, this is obviously done to keep it within the constraints of the iMac sort of chassis. But still that's not bad and we're getting a, a benchmark score of 96.1 frames per second. Which is about again 15% slower than MaxTech's 5700 XT in the same benchmark. So the first game we're benchmarking is Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, in Warzone. Now again we've tried to match Max Tech's settings so that you can compare against his 5700 XT. I'm going to link his video in our comments below, hope he doesn't mind. Um, now you can see with our MSI Afterburner overlay, when we're in game we're getting again between 90 and 100 watts of power draw for this 5700. And we're getting clocks of about, about 12 to 1300. So again, it produces nice playable frame rates at uh, 1440p, sort of mediumish settings. Um, I wouldn't really want to play it for a long time on this iMac screen because of the slow response rate, but if this is your only machine and you want to play games, it will certainly do the job. Now this game taxes the GPU and the CPU quite hard. I find anything that taxes this 8-core uh, CPU really does sort of ramp the fans up. So you can actually you should be able to hear in the background the fan noise on this. Um, I would say once we get into the game and you're, you're playing for a few minutes, the fans are going to be pretty much up to max. It's not uncomfortable, it's certainly not as bad as a gaming laptop, but you can really hear it.
Now we're moving on to Fortnite. This is a slightly less demanding game than Call of Duty, so uh, we've got it at uh, 1440p again, but all high settings. Um, and this ran pretty smoothly all the way through. Uh, 90 to 100 frames per second most of the times. Also, with this being a lot less demanding on the system, the fans were not nearly ramping up as much as they were on Call of Duty. Uh, it was really quite nice and comfortable to play. Now I'm just switching it down to 1080p high settings just to see what a difference it does make on the frames um, and as you can see here it bumps the frames right up to usually up over 144 frames per second so if you attach a, a high refresh screen on there it would be pretty good for gaming. Now the last game we're benchmarking today is going to be Dota 2. So again, a bit of an older title, but still quite a popular one. Uh, 1440p, all high settings. Uh, again, this is quite an easy one for this system to play. It's nice and quiet because it's not really taxing it as hard. And frame rates are I'd say mostly sort of up into the sort of 150 to 180. So you know, as a competitive player, you could really play this well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these benchmarks and hopefully it's given you an indication of how well this 5700 games. Now as I said earlier, this is just the standard out of the box bootcamp drivers. Uh, we are going to get some custom drivers on here and test again and we will be testing with some more games. So if you're interested in seeing that in the future, please subscribe and hit your notification bell um, and there will be more videos coming up shortly. And also if there's anything you'd like us to actually benchmark, any particular games, please link them down in the comment section below and we will do our best to uh, add them into the next review. Thank you.